And hello, this is Dr. Peter Terzop and just wanted to touch base with everybody. And one of the topics that came up was the idea of assignments being too early or too late. And here's part of the issues, okay? So if I see an assignment coming in early, that could mean you're working ahead or you're just a fast person or time management or you have schedule shifts. I see this a lot with firefighters, military, police, or nurses, you know, and that makes sense. Uh, the vast majority, though, it is because they just want to get it done and so they kind of rush it so to speak and what we have to be careful with that is is that when you turn something in too early that can also result in the fact that you didn't really get the feedback from the last assignment or you just received it while working on the other one it hasn't seen the improvements so what that does is it delays the improvement not only one week but maybe two or three weeks and so we really need to make sure that whenever you're in a class make sure you get the first full week of feedback you may be working on something, but before you resubmit the second one, then you want to make sure, okay, I see the feedback. This is what the professor is looking for. This is what they they want, so I'm going to modify my assignment. Just don't say, well, I'm done. I'm going to turn it in, and that's their problem. A number of students will say this continually. Well, that's your preference. Well, let's just say for a moment it is my preference. I'm the one grading, so that's an important preference to know, right? Okay, it's just like a boss. Uh, but having said that, I always tell students, get that feedback initially in that first week before you post too early the next week. And that will cut a lot of this problem off, you know, or any issues. The other thing is, is when you, uh, you do something late. A lot of professors really do want to help you. I find that most of them do. The problem is when you overdo it and you keep doing it, that's the issue. Okay, this professor lets me do it, the other one doesn't. And so you start taking advantage of it. You need to be aware of that. If you're having that big of an issue, you contact the professor, contact your academic advisor. And if it's a medical or some issue like that, work with an accommodation form. That's very, very important because then you can have the other professor accommodate you while the good, not the good one, but the one that's more accommodating, they're not being a used or abused, so to speak. So that's a big issue as well. I tend not to grade so much off for things being late. I just want them to be in. And if, I, if you have a life event, then I'm willing to work with you. But at some point, when it's two, three, four weeks later, or my favorite, dumping every assignment possible in the last week, over eight to 16 weeks, then we got a problem, okay? So just a quick video on that. Always watch. You really want to say, okay, if it's due on Saturday, maybe Friday, Sunday. That's your window. Saturday, obviously, is where you want it, but there's a window. You know, Not too early. Take some extra time. If you get it done early, take a moment and maybe edit it. If you get it late, obviously you got to catch up, but just don't submit something because a lot of times the quality drops quite a bit. So that's just some advice and some suggestions. I think if you communicate with professors, there's no reason for hard feelings, apologies, miscommunications. Make sure you're working with the professor as soon as possible. If there's anything else, always feel free to drop me an idea and best of luck.